<laughs> there is a way to do it though because I just recently did it but I also just opened up a new Instagram so because we got that blue check mark on our Facebook pages and then it had to be linked to an Instagram so I had to switch mine and now I've switched it back because I've opened up another Instagram that I'm not sure if I'm going to do much with it or not. We'll see. But then because I had two Instagrams, I was able to swap them. So that might be a way. We'll look into it. Um, yeah. For ad training, Andrea, I actually wanted to talk to you about was, um, do we have anything for Instagram for ads? We have, um, there's some training in there. I think like running reels and stuff because most real ads go to Instagram, not to Facebook. Um, and I think we have story ad training, like up in your stories. And that goes to Instagram too. Um, like when it comes to running and yeah, like we could have another one on Instagram, but like when it comes to running an ad, if you're going to do it on Facebook or Instagram or both, it's a matter of like the placement. You just decide that you're just going to have it on Instagram um, or just Facebook or if you want it everywhere when I do my retargets I my retargets go everywhere I'm just like Facebook wherever it can fit just stick it there I don't care put it wherever you want because those, those people have already seen me so I really don't care They're, my retargets for the most part are always reels so Facebook's either Facebook and Instagram can run them in different places but are you wanting, like, are you wanting to run real ads or because it's a matter well, would, of, then you just click yeah. Instagram. It's the same as like it, when you're doing like a story ad and you're running it just to Facebook feed instead of clicking like for Facebook feed, you would just have it for like Instagram, Instagram, okay. Instagram reels or Instagram in story highlights or, or whatever, those kinds of things. It'll tell you where it'll fit too. It'll tell you like, no, you can't have it here. Or you can't have it there. But yeah, it's a matter of just unclicking the Facebook side of things then. Okay. Unless okay, you wanted it. But yeah, we could have some training just showing the difference on that for sure. I know in the guide section, you did have a reels training. I don't know. I don't recognize the girl you did it with, but it yep. was, it was a decent, I think it was like half an hour or something. There's some good, there's some good info in there for people that if they haven't done it yet. I'll do an updated one just because there's so much new, new stuff. And like things that like you wouldn't think, you wouldn't even know that you could do. Like being able to stick like pictures up, how to like do that, how to have them show up at a certain time and then not be there anymore. Um, like all sorts of different cool things to get creative with your reels. Or have like pictures in the background about like the bottled water industry is trying to kill us all. And you're like telling people like about it in the background. We've all seen those reels, that kind of stuff. Um, cool. So in the sense of going through the training, starting the business, everything's super straightforward for you guys. You don't think there's anything that you think would need to be would like changed um because we are gonna we're gonna improve some stuff here regardless because we see some things that we can definitely help you guys get better results but faster um but yeah. yeah i think i'm with steve on like the touching on the ad stuff i still i mean go through the training you go through it you can set your first one up yeah but it doesn't you know you know, i had to figure out how to go back in and edit it and then i was like oh my god Doing this the right way am I messing up my whole ad am I you know I mean <clears throat> that and then maybe possibly I know you mentioned in the train like the retargets but to actually like step by step on a retarget unless I cannot remember that you did that and you did already but like when you would retarget like how far in um and it's possible you did I mean I did the training like month, two months ago or something and maybe I'm just not remembering totally but I know you've uh, gone through a lot of the training. I, I personally, I'm not I'm sure. So I'm just gonna go real quick. We got likes campaign story, ad writing story, ad uh, measuring your ad results, what to do if your ad's not working, creating a retarget ad. So, um, 
Okay, and that's right in the regular training? Uh, yeah. Uh, in the actual, like, ad, like, when you go to creating ads. So okay. when you do a retarget, what, is that me with the feedback? Or who is that? Uh, maybe Aaliyah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, I wasn't sure if it was me because I was screen sharing with a retarget. Like you can have anything you want as a retarget. It's just when we go to actually run the audience, like whatever type of ad you want to do is totally fine. You can retarget your story ad to the people that have already seen your story ad to make sure that it keeps showing up in their face over and over again until they finally reach out to you. Um, cause I've done that. I do that. Um, but you can do all sorts of things, but when you go to do the audience, then you're just going to go in and there's a different spot for like a custom audience where then you're going to go and click on people that have engaged on your page over a certain amount of time. Right. I usually would say not over 30 days. Like when I run mine, I try to keep it like 15 days just cause I, when I do run, like I just turned on my ads back to like what I used to have them at in September and to next week I'm going to bump them back up to a hundred bucks a day because we I need some massive momentum coming in because I haven't run I haven't I haven't been running ads since really September I run them at like bare minimum but um I want to have them cranking again but now I have all the retargets and stuff again so for me I don't, I will only want my retarget for people that have like recently fresh seen my content and then I'll retarget them. Then yeah, to, you'll, there's all inside the retargeting ad, but like, then you can start, if you're doing the reels, you can retarget people who have watched your reel. And then now, so they like seen your content, like your story ad or something. Now they've seen like your reel and then you can like retarget them from that reel. So that now they can keep seeing like your next reel. Like you can get really strategic with it. Like okay. I see you checking out my stuff. What the fuck are you doing at your job? <laughs> you can't say fuck, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry if your kids are there. I had to drop an F-bomb. Um, yeah, the retargeting is actually really powerful. And it's a huge, like if you're not getting the results with your ads and you are creating content, get some retargets going to really run them at like a buck 50 a day because it's such a small audience. Right. compared. But your story ad, you're trying to draw people into your page, into like, like you know, getting them to know you. And now once the, the retargets only going to go after people who have like clicked and read on your content or like have messaged you or like have commented some sort of engagement. So now your retargets are only going out to people that have like actively like engaged on your story or whatever you're, you're running, which is cool. Cause then you're always in their face. Like always. <laughs> like, freakishly always in their face right steve i was in your face that's why you joined <laughs> seven times <laughs> <laughs> so we want that especially with you being in the united states right it's a massive population so oh thanks for the chocolate <clears throat> it's all melted no no thank you yeah, those are all just subsections in the training pl platform that you put out there that are all the creating and the ad and then the reach maybe i just went through them because I didn't understand ads and then haven't and kind of they all meshed together for me and I was like oh I didn't realize they were broken apart at that point so <clears throat> I'll go back into the training then and go to the ad page and kind of see because I think for me that's the it's the reels because I'd really like to get better at that and then it's it's just understand the back part of Facebook and mm -hmm. because I, how's, I'm how's your track ad doing do you still get people reaching out on my, on my ad? No. I get a ton of likes every day. I have a likes campaign. I mean, I think I probably get three, four hundred. I mean, I think I have 1.5 thousand people on my page and I just started it two and a half months ago or three months ago. So it's like three, four hundred people a month that are liking my page. But I don't, I get like very little of anything, like maybe literally one every two weeks, every three weeks, like on my story ad shut it off yeah yeah 100 percent. we'll send you well let's jump on a, a zoom one day soon and take a look at 
Yeah, I mean, I've been out a couple of times. I know it's through the crazy busy. So, you know, I know you were doing your stuff and getting the, you know, business platform and, you know, whatever. I just, I, I being very sensitive to your time too, because you are one woman. Yeah. You, know? you can't be everywhere. But I everywhere. it feels like. I mean, let's have, how if I was getting a couple a week, you know, I'm like getting nothing and it could be because of my content. It could be that it's not you know, good enough or whatever else, but that's why I want to get a little bit better at reels. And, but I'm still, I'm still posting on a regular basis. It's not like I'm just leaving it sit there, but yeah. 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 But so I think hopefully, I looked on your I hope, page not too long ago too. That what? I know I looked on your page not too long ago and you have oh. a, you're pretty consistent. So the yeah, there's a matter of something needs to change on your ad, but the thing is not so much change. I think start a new one. Okay. Right. Maybe we need to change the headline like a slightly or something. Okay. If you can send me the written part, the written portion, if you can copy paste yeah. it and send it to me and just send me like a picture, the picture that you're using. Um, Sounds good. Cause it might be something simple. Cause Thank I, you. I know we've looked at the audience before and I don't think it's, here's the thing with Facebook. Um, you could run the exact same ad 50 different times and you'll get 50 different results. Sure. Like, that's why sometimes even if an ad was like good, I have ads that do really, really good. And then all of a sudden they don't do good. And then I go and duplicate them with the exact same audience. And then Facebook's algorithm, depending on who starts like reaching out and stuff, it's a totally different algorithm to that same audience. It's um, like when I get a really good ad going, I will have like sometimes like eight different duplications testing them. Cause like one will do good and then one will like kind of fizzle off. Sometimes I'll change like one thing on my audience just and then keep that one going and kind of like measure the different results. Right. And Todd, your ad's doing really well, right? Like are you getting a lot of reach out from your uh, ad? The one that I uh, launched. Oh, who are you talking to? Oh, I thought Todd had one that oh, yeah. he was getting a lot of. Yeah, mine is starting to slow down a little bit. But what I okay. found, as I was going to say, as I don't know if it's in the training, but if you're adjusting your audience and changing your price and doing all this stuff, like every few oh. days or even a week, do not do that. It Duplicate it. That. You can do yeah. it like one time, go and make an adjustment. But if you're constantly mm -hmm. are making adjustments, you like basically have destroyed the algorithm. You've like exhausted yeah. it. Like, Facebook's just like, fuck this. <laughs> I think that's probably really important for people to know. I yeah. mean, the, oh, it's yeah. in the training. It was like, don't okay. screw with your audience. You could do yeah. it in time and it's usually not a big deal. Um, what happens too, when you go, say you go and change any like wording on your ad, you lose all your engagement. It goes back to like a brand new hey. ad. Okay, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't want to do that. I had that issue. Everybody's like, it's in the training. In my head, I'm like, how did I miss all this? I mean, I literally did all the training. So, hey, I'll just go back and do it again. So we'll be fine. <laughs> well, here's the thing. We're, okay, I, I'm not going to get into all the details, but we're going to all go no, through all the training together to. as a team, starting like in a week and a half. All oh, of God. us. Get out of here. She's saying hi to you, Steve. <laughs> Individually saying hi to people. Um. We're going to walk through all the training because then as we do it all as a team, we can now figure out, is there anything that we should be adjusting? One, right? And then two, as people have questions along the way, we're literally going to be doing trainings like this. We're going to be jumping on, we're going to go like in a module sequence, basically, of we're, we're going to break it up, but like for, to make it easy um, but we want it so that everybody's on the same page with the training, like, because as we bring people in, like the ultimate goal in this business is to create a massive business. And the way to do that is we need to bring people in and those people need to know how to duplicate. And right. the only way they're ever going to know how to duplicate is if you know what you're doing, um, and fully understand the training. So we're going to walk everybody through it because it, it's, uh, I think the most important thing we can do and then moving forward really can then start dialing in the let's jump on and talk about ads. Let's jump on tonight with Aaron's ad and we're going to do some adjustments on it or whatever. Um, 
but we're gonna we're gonna go through all of it we're all gonna go through the training well yeah. unless people don't want to then that's fine that's on them but like yeah, there's a lot of them. there's a lot of there's a lot in there there's it's super valuable content but it's also um it's it, you also sometimes you need a further explanation on certain things right let's right. be honest it needs to happen because you can't continue to be the you i mean i know it's not just you but there are other people that are helping you as well but you can't continue to do that and still have your freedom lifestyle so it no. we have to, i'm because, burnt out like i yeah I'm, yes, I'm I would imagine. Out. I haven't even been building my own business. I'm like, yeah. I've sacrificed like fifty thousand dollar months since September. Yes, um, and that's what I just said that to somebody the other day. I'm like, not in the wrong way, but I'm like, I wouldn't even want to be Andrea right now. I mean, I think you're great, but I wouldn't want to be you. I I wouldn't want it. <laughs> so the more like you get that we understand everything that's going on, we can break away. We can just yeah. break away with our own teams. Exactly. So then the one that everybody needs all the time like I'll be so. the first to say I'm not good at all of this stuff I'm not good at like the team building and and like there's certain things I'm good at and there's certain things that aren't my strength I want to mm -hmm. focus on the things that I'm good at because that can help the team like with those kinds of things but there's other there's a lot of stuff that all of you guys are really good at and we want you guys to all like level up as leaders um because that's how we're all going to get to the top. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go through all of this stuff together. Because if there's any gray areas and stuff, then we can be like, Aaron, you're like, hey, um, I really now have dialed in reels. And I've actually learned some really cool things that I think would be super helpful for people to, to learn. Cool. Do a quick training on that. We'll dump it in the platform. Right. right. All of that kind of stuff. Like, let's next level of global freedom movement is like let's level what did we say it was earlier steven i can't remember let's <laughs> remember it was good though <laughs> something about leader <laughs> let me look it up what are we oh let's let's develop leaders by leading with leading by, leading example. by example yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't, that actually doesn't sound as cool as it did at the time but <laughs> <laughs> oh hey danielle Oh, hey. Oh, wait, I'm on mute. No, you're not. No, on. I'm no. not. We can hear you. <laughs> My Zoom, I kept trying to get on in the car, and I don't know if it was the internet, and it just kept looping and looping. So but I'm home, and I'm here. We'll probably be wrapping it up soon anyways, but do you have any questions? No, I'm good. I feel like, um, I feel like I'm good for the most part. Go cool. on. Is that, is that Chris? Chris, are you here? I see my name and then I see ceiling. Anyways. um, Oh. That's weird. Yeah, that is your ceiling. Oh, totally. and I see a hand. And I see, and I see a hand. Get out of here. You're so loud. <laughs> oh, we're just like at a pool party. So loud. So annoying. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I don't know, but I'm I'm pretty stoked about this M guard. I'll tell you that much. So I'm looking forward mm -hmm. to how we're gonna launch that. That's pretty. Oh, yeah, exciting. yeah. Let's talk about that real quick before we end this. I did just a little snippet of it to today on the Facebook group, um, just to get people moving. I've had a few messages from people just from that. Um, uh, we didn't we. Our intent was to talk more about MGuard a little bit, but we are gonna we're getting some like good information around it so that we can do some sort of live about it of some sort. And this is in the mix of all of this other shit that we're doing. Um we still don't know for sure when it's gonna be released in the United States and Canada, but like the fact that it's being released to in Australia, and we do have a a, a people in Australia within our community. Um it's launching like in a week, right? Is it? Yeah. First of June. Oh, sh yeah. What? Yeah. So it's like eight days. So that's, so that's happening. So we are going to have to, yeah. What do we, I don't even, we didn't even probably talk about all of this, but we're going to be talking about it next week, probably closer to the end of the week, letting mm -hmm. people know, well, um, we're going to start 
um, Mandy's kind of working on this more for us about how to, if you want to share it on social media, how to do it by creating curiosity first, not being like, oh my God, we're like doing this EMF shit and like, it's amazing. How cool is this? It's the best of the best. We don't want to go and say that right away because nobody's going to listen. Um, you, yeah. might get, you might get like one or two, but like most people are gonna be like, I have a Shungite bracelet. I'm good. Or, I don't know. I had one. Do, do we the EMF stuff? Is it like a whole house system or is it individual pieces for individual devices or is it, do we know? Like, it's like eight feet, I think, the, the area. So it's like, yeah, you'd need a few for your for your home, right? It's like within, right. I don't know what it is, 12 or 18 feet or something. But are there like individual little pieces? Like, because I have one on my phone right now. I actually know people. I know a, a person that actually has their own business that they have created EMF protection. Yeah. And I've been using them on my phone. And there's like necklaces you can wear for your own personal when you travel and whatever. That's so what I, I just did do. the shungi. Oh. Is that what you, is it? What is it? Made no, of it's called, it's called hedron, but okay. they make them for like even like your meter, like it goes over your your meter, your electric meter, or what your whatever they had to, when they updated it that they can read them from wherever instead of coming out and reading your meters. Those are That's all right. getting into your house too. So there's they Chris, do you have the website? Are you there? Are you listening? Can you like? Point it somewhere other than our ceiling. <laughs> can you can you drop the web? There's a website for it, um, and there's okay. videos on it. Um, it's got a oh, lot. Of, it's got a lot of certifications. Like they've been doing testing on it for years. It's called okay. mguard.com. Mguard. <laughs> okay. That's that's real hard to remember. <laughs> you have an M guard with an E and E, isn't it? E -E com. Also, guys, they're doing a launch um for the Australian market. I think I put the details for the Zoom in the chat. It's actually not a bad time for the United States. I think it works out to be nine o'clock your time, Andrea, and oh. eleven o'clock my time in Dallas at night. So it is later at night, but I'm definitely jumping on that launch that and I'm sure we'll learn. Yeah, that's so it's the 27th Australia time. So I'm. it's either the day, I'm pretty sure it's the day before because they're in the future. That's We're in the past. So it'll be like the 26th, the night, the 26th for us. So it's going to be late, but I, I'm definitely jumping on that Zoom and I'll be taking notes and I'll be able to share them. Um, because yeah, I think that again on that Zoom will be huge for us. We'll learn a lot from that. Yeah, and that that'll help us with helping with the content, and then whatever we're gonna put out there to, um, the Facebook group. Chris yeah. I know has some. He he's been working on some sort of. I don't even know. He's got some slides on it. Maybe maybe not. What? Are you glaring at me? <laughs> are you what nothing didn't you make huh? slides on it or something <laughs> like are you muted or like <laughs> i'm talking are you was he talking yeah, yeah. no no we're not talking <laughs> I miss being your neighbor. I really do. You guys make me laugh so much. I'm moving Don't back. take that shit abuse, Chris. Don't take that at all. <laughs> Are he's, we he's talking and he's yeah, not. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to turn the microphone off. He's going to turn the camera off. He's done. <laughs> I can't tell if his mouth is moving or what. I don't, anyways, um, he's got... <laughs> I think he's got, he's got a slide. Right? Just one slide. Just one. There we go. <laughs> one slide, but we'll get. <laughs> the guy's trying to eat. Like, leave him alone. <laughs> Is he eating? He's always eating. Like, like, I just want to just finish. Oh, Chris. See that? He was working on his laptop. Are you working on your laptop? <laughs> yeah, yeah. At the same time, I could get out of here. It's so loud. Charlie's, Charlie's going to tell you off. That's funny. Anyways. <laughs> He's eating. 
I can so see you now. There's one slide on it, but we'll we'll hype it up a lot because oh, here's <laughs> you guys. I I think if I remember correctly, they come in packages of three. When you put them, I'm pretty sure it's a package of three. Um, but this is like something as well, like ought to kind of like play off of the the live event we did last week about like going to businesses and stuff like that. Um, this is something that. What are you laughing about? You guys? What are you doing? What's even happening? What am I missing here? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh something? The fake, just the losing fake, it. The fake <laughs> of eating. Like, the fake eating. Oh, I, know, I know that Erin can see it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Danielle and I are the only ones that are losing our crap over here. I don't even know what's going on. I'm trying to not just, look at him. He's just fake eating. He's just, he's just fake, fake eating now. Just He's fake eating. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. Anything. Like he will eat an entire plate. Oh my god! <laughs> in like four, four bites. It's like before I've even sat down to eat my food, he's already done and like onto something else. Yeah. So, or oh, eating your food. Yeah. Some. Yeah. I'm always the last to eat. Anyways, I don't even know what I was saying. This is dumb. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is what I get for you were saying that Chris had a slide. He had a slide. One. Just one. One. Though. One Just slide. One. Yes. Just one. Of- we'll get some though after we go and watch whatever the the live launch. How do you go from upstairs to downstairs so fast? Um holy crap. Did you guys have birthday cake? Is that what it's all about? Sure. Um oh, I'm pretty- What was, oh my God, I had something good to say. <laughs> what was I just saying? Sorry, guys. Sorry, You're talking guys. about the live, the launch for the- Android. Oh yeah, once we do, once we, I'm going to be the, there for the Australia launch as well. So me and Danielle mm-hmm. are going to take notes and stuff. So anyone wants to join in, like we'll drop the Zoom link at that time. It's definitely beneficial to sit there because it'll be cool. Yeah. To- uh, I'm in. Okay, but I put them in the freezer. Get that away from me. But and then I think like creating curiosity over that launch, like coming from low ticket, we honestly dealt with so many product launches. Like every six months, it, there was like a new product that you had to launch. So um, there's definitely like the right way of launching a product. Um, so we're going to make sure that we give you all the tools to so we can launch this all together in like the most epic way. So and it's going to impact the business. Soon. Because yeah, magic distributors are going to start mm-hmm. talking about. It. And here's the thing is, even though we don't know a for sure date of when it's going to launch in Canada, the U.S., we can put people on a waiting list because we know it's going to happen. 100%. Really soon. Yeah. Right. Because it's people coming on a waiting list. Yeah. And that's how you can hype it up. Like, you know, being on a VIP list or a waiting list or something like you can hype it up like that a lot. Like yeah. make sure you're on the list. You don't want to miss out that, you know. Because in Europe, they launched, what, a 1,000 units? So I don't know if Australia is going to be a limited launch too. I guess we'll find out. But, like, if it is a limited launch, that'll be really cool to be able to share it like that and hype it up like that, you know, it is a limited launch. You want to get your unit. You don't want to miss out kind of thing. I want one for do sure. We, do we know the cost? Yeah. I'm sorry if I missed that. Do you know the approximate um, cost? I think the Australian cost has been announced. We won't get the U.S. cost until that's all been announced, but it's about two two thousand three hundred Aussie. And I is think that right? Three of them, I think. Maybe. Yeah, I think that's a pack of three, but we'll find out more for sure on that Zoom. It says it's good for eight meters of defense, yeah. so I think that's what twenty. Oh, that's five way- feet. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'm excited to get one because, like, I'm always near my phone. Or my laptop, mostly my phone. But like all of, yeah. all of our stuff are Alexa, the iPads. We're just bathing in radiation. Yep. Thank God we every drink single one of us in water. <laughs> but this will be really cool. But yeah, like what I was saying, like this is really good for businesses too. Like, say like developers building oh, go away. God. Um <laughs> Like for like developers building houses and stuff, this could be like a good gift that they give as like a, you know, housewarming gift. Here's, you know, blocking you from EMF radiation. You're welcome. Or realtors as well. 
like yeah. realtors can add it into their, you know, package or however they do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's way better than getting like a set of cooking knives or knives. That's what we got from our real estate agent with his name on it. I'm like, that's dumb. <laughs> nice. <laughs> much rather anything but and some knives thanks um <laughs> cool yeah i think that's i think we're good for tonight is that it any other questions you guys we're gonna be working on some of that stuff but yeah we'll um we're gonna set a date and we're gonna kind of start going through a whole sequence of going through the training and that 30-day yeah. jump start as of right now is gone we will likely put something in its place mm -hmm. also gonna add in a questionnaire at the very beginning. And this is what's going to help. It'll be a, a personal questionnaire that new people can go through, or you can go through as well. Um, that it's going to be like a series, maybe like six questions of just like where you're at, where you were, where you want to be, um, kind of like some of your goals and blah, blah, blah. And this is really what's going to help us as well. Go away. <laughs> Usually the door is closed. Um, this is going to help us to help keep people accountable. Um, but also at the same time, when it comes time to write their story out and they're like, I don't know what to write. It's like, well, you already answered all of these questions and this is a pretty much your story. We just need to make it into a story now. It's going to. The couple leads that had, uh, calls with you that you sent that questionnaire out. Yeah. Like they're, they reach out to me all the time. Like they're not financially ready, but the yeah. things that they have done just by answering that, like just changing the way they eat, the way they do things in the day, like they message me saying, thank you already, just based on that questionnaire. So it works. For booking the call? Uh, the couple that you talked to there, you talked to Docs and then uh, Matt. Yeah. Just as far as their like financial situation, they're just not yeah. ready for it. But as far as their like mental state and how they're changing the way they do things so that they can get to that point, yeah, they're already saying thank you. And it's just based off that questionnaire. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, there's a couple of questions, like personal questions on there. But um, yeah, so anyone who doesn't know this, we've added in like a questionnaire when people book calls. We want to know like their credit score, if they're in a position to either purchase outright or if they want to look at financing options um if they're able to like in a position to start now or do they need to like talk to a spouse or a partner after we get off a call um but also like asking like what's what's like um like who would who would this business benefit beyond just themselves um and like who like who do they look up to like as a role model in their life um, so there is like a couple of thought provoking questions, but more importantly, we want to know where people stand like on the actual getting started point, because when we're jumping on these calls, the intent is to like help them take the next step forward. And if they're, you know, they have like a 500 credit score, we know that like if they're in the States, Chase Freedom Card's not going to be an option. Um, lending tree is likely not going to be an option. Their option is going to be in-house financing. And this allows us to now just know where they're at right away. Or like if someone has good credit. I have an eight, 840 credit score. I make $75,000 a year. Yes, I'm ready to go. If you can answer all of my questions, it's like, cool, this person's already sold. Let's just answer any questions that they have and help them take the next step forward. So that's good. I know Doc's right. just applied for Medicard. Um, and I think he was, are you muted? I haven't heard back from him yet. So still waiting for him. He messaged me yesterday. I'll I'll double check what he said. But um he's he's in the works. And then you said something about that Matt guy too. So you're about to have two business partners coming on, which is cool. <laughs> right. Yeah. Awesome. Sorry, who was gonna say something there? I cut them off. Anybody? No. Okay, well, we'll wrap it up for tonight. We got lots of good stuff coming in. And um, I'm excited to do all of this with you guys, like walking through it, because I haven't even gone through my own videos in a long time. So I can go through it with all of you guys. And if there's anything I'm like, wow, we really need to switch some things up here, then then we'll do it. It's all the intent is to help the duplication for you guys and the, your teams. So.
Awesome. awesome. Cool. Well, thanks for coming on, you guys. I super appreciate it. It's great to have like a brainstorm like this. And um, yeah, if we're going to, this is going to be big. MGAR is going to be friggin' massive. Mm -hmm. We're all going to the top here. We're just going to tweak a few things to make it a lot easier for us to do that. Good. All right. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome. Have, have a good night, you guys. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Good night.